Well, hello everybody, thank you for stopping by. Timberborn is what we're gonna be playing today, and before we get into this video, I do wanna say a special thank you for sponsoring, a special someone sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Alabama Boy, subscriber to the channel, sponsoring this video, and potentially future videos to come out for Timberborn. So I'm very, very thankful, and thank you, thank you, thank you for sponsoring this game for us. So what is Timberborn? Humans are long gone. Will your, will your lumberpunk beavers do any better? A city building game featuring animals, vertical architecture, river control, and deadly droughts. Contains high amounts of wood. <laughs> um, and just like it, it is, you know, just like it is, has been, you know, like I said, um, city management game. And I've never really played a city management building type game on the channel before. So, yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> if you want to see more of Timberborn, you just got to let me know by hitting the like button. Um, and subscribe subscribe if you're new of course I do want to say if you are on this video and you are expecting a professional city building type, type kind of person you came to the wrong place I'm gonna be learning mostly through this entire uh, game and uh, hopefully through the generosity of tips and tricks left by you guys so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into a new game so here is uh, here's some factions here we got folk tales and we have the iron teeth so this is kind of interesting so easy going but hard working, folktales are expert farmers. They respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Oh, that's really nice. So they're like the farmers, I guess? Iron teeth, defectors of the traditional timber ways. They master iron and science to build advanced machinery. They achieve progress through ingenuity. In, 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 good lord. You already know. <laughs> um, work hard, play hard is basically what they're doing. They, they work, work, work. And have no regards to the um, to the environment mostly, uh, but we can't play as them because to play as them we have to reach an average well-being of eight. So we have to do this with the folk tales first. So we're gonna go folk tales. There's a lot of different areas that we can go, um, but I think for me, especially recommended, I'm gonna be doing the plains. Like I said, I am not an expert at city management games, and so uh, city building games in, in that particular. Um, I, I do play city building games in a casual in a casual sense, uh, but never really played any on the channel. And I'm you know I'm nervous, dude. I'm nervous because. I don't, I hope you guys don't expect too much out of me, but I will try my best, of course, and then any tips and tricks are always welcome down in the comment section below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so here we are with our beavers. We have about, how many beavers do we have? We have about 11 beavers. We have seven adults and four children. Now, to save you aches and pains, I have played a little bit of this, um, a uh, little bit of, of the beginning here, so I, I, I know a little bit of of something <laughs> not a lot but a, a little bit of something so what the game wants us to do is build some lumberjack flags build a path and then mark trees for cutting so of course like in any other uh, uh mini or city management type game you want to always plan ahead kind of in a way and kind of like have an idea of what you want to do as far as how um like how your layout of your city is so lumberjack flags uh lumberjack flags are basically flags that um that will provide jobs for your beavers. So your beavers will become lumbermen or lumberjackers or, you know, lumberjacks. Yeah, they'll become that. And what they will do is they will go out and cut trees in the uh, highlighted area where the lumberjack can reach to. It's all about reaching things as well in this game. So we have to, you know, keep that in mind also. So let's go ahead and cut some trees down. I'm going to go ahead and just like, whoops, I'm going to go not cut the water. I'm going to go ahead and just have all these trees highlighted for us because this is very important we want uh, all the wood that we can get right and then uh so with our seven adults two of them should go ahead and uh, jump on employment once these uh trees or once these flags are built here we can go ahead and prioritize uh, buildings be like yes i want this to be a high priority and that will do its thing so real quick um I'm going to kind of explain myself as I go here in case you've never seen this game or you're interested in this game i'll try my best to explain it to you so one thing I like about this game, it's very clean in the UI. Uh, you have water, you have wood, you have food, and you have in storage. And then you have science points to go along with it. This is just 
population. Oh, this is our number of population well-being. This is what that is. Um, and then you have your population in total, which is how many beavers you have. You have 11 beavers, and then you have four children and seven adults. Of course, the children cannot be employed. Uh, there's no child lab labor here. Yeah, even beavers have child labor laws. You would, you, you'd be surprised. Of course, you have homelessness. We have 11 beavers that are homeless because we don't have any houses for them. We got to build some houses, of course. Um, and then this is the this is the job department here, or the job uh, rating. Or you know your all the jobs that we have in the in our society, the district center takes up two or takes up four. Uh, we only have two, and I don't know exactly what this does entirely. Let's see here. Establish a district with its own population resources and isolated path network. Employees, builders. Oh, so is that what it does? Districts are builders. Is that what that is? Okay. Well, we could do that because guess what? We have seven adults. Um, we have two that are now cutting and we have three that are unemployed, which now when I hit play should become employed. Yeah. So there you go. Now you have more that are employed there. So we only have one single beaver out there that is unemployed. So maybe we got to find a job for him. And one thing that we could do is add a water pump because our beavers are going to need some water at some point, right? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and add a water pump. And this is a job all in itself. So we'll go ahead and prioritize that. I mean, that's the only thing that we have going on right now. And then let's, you know, of course, like build a path to them. Whoops, build a path. And there we go. So there we go. They'll go ahead and prioritize building this. Uh, we have people that cut trees as you can see look at them he's gnawing on that sucker uh we have two people that cut four people that build you could have the roles with roles revo roles reversed if that's the kind of thing you want um but i kind of like having more builders it gets things things done quicker plus i think i can go in here and kind of be like hey you know what we don't need you in there anymore hopefully i think i don't know i've never tested that out uh but i would like to oh yeah you can kind of you know unassign uh builders and stuff like that so i i, I do like that in, in in its sense um but we still have one guy unemployed and this is going to be his this is going to be his job his job is going to be the water pump now over time your children will become adults who would have known <laughs> who would have freaking known right and when they become adults well guess what they join the labor force yeah that's what they do in life and that's what we do here in beaver community town or something like that so i don't know i don't even know the name of this place you can actually uh, if you want to go ahead and name this place and be like you know what this isn't district this is um beaver and butthead beaver and butthead place home <laughs> home you know you could do something like that if you really wanted to i don't know um yeah so that, that, that that's just how it is you can also if you want to name every single beaver to your liking so yeah it, it's pretty cool i like that when games do that give you that that option for sure but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fast forward time here a little bit you can see up here in the top right hand corner uh there's day and then there's night right luckily the night at least for right now is 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 short so that's going to help us visually as we play through this game now uh quickly you see our job our water pump is up and running now with the water pump being up and running i'm gonna go ahead and slow down time a little bit with our water, water pump up and running we have now an employee we have no nobody unemployed is basically where it's at nobody's unemployed we have someone there and that's good so now we want to do a gather flag and what gathering is is some, it's almost like it's almost like the wood thing but uh, instead it's berries right our 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 um what is that a barrier interesting our um beavers are going to need food right that's pretty obvious so let's go ahead and build the path out now again same thing with the wood you can't just put it out anywhere you want when it comes to the gather flag so for instance i'll show you see how this is uh yellow this is just too far away for, for, for the builders so they can't do anything about it uh yellow still far away but it's green once it's green you know it's green it's good to go so in the highlighted area that is everything that they will potentially gather so let's see where we can get the max out of this and you know not take them too far away you know like right here is fine yeah right here is fine so we're gonna do that and then in the meantime we're gonna actually take one builder away from our district so that that builder or that uh that builder can then turn into a gatherer which is what we're gonna want so we'll go ahead and up the priority in the gatherer and that's gonna be something that you know it, it, it's obvious right it's, it's it's very obvious um it's our only building so prioritize it young men and women as we go through here 
yeah. So I don't know. They're, they're all okay. It's it's nap time. It's it, they, it's time to go to bed. It's time to go night night. <laughs> I guess I don't know, dude. Look at them. They just sleep in the middle of the place. So we should probably think about doing a um some housing. Yeah, housing lodges. So we can go ahead and build them a nice little community of some sort. Now I do like the whole neighbor like hello neighbor type thing. I don't know if I want to put it like on the main street here. If, if maybe on the back of the back over here somewhere. We'll go like I don't know like. Bam and bam. I don't know how many houses sleeps. Um, does it say? Satisfy sleeps. Um, inhabitants three, nine. Yeah, I'm not sure how many um, how many uh, beavers this will this will bring in. But nonetheless, we're gonna create our little own, um, you know, our little own community or neighborhood i guess you could say so we'll wait for them we'll fast forward time until they wake up they should be waking up very very soon there they are hello fantastic good to see you he's going to prioritize building this and then uh we will have oh as you can see we had one of our children become an adult awesome so that means we have an extra person that can go ahead and work and when i'm going to put that extra person he's going to become uh there you're going to become another builder so essentially we've kind of filled in the builder role and now um have the gatherer role all set in stone there it's really good so we still have three potential workers that we can come out of our come, that can come out of our children uh, eventually once they become of age. But uh, I think so far so good. No. All right. Let's go ahead and continue with our tutorial here. Very warning though. Uh, like I said, this game is early access. Um, the tutorial in this game is <laughs> almost nil. <laughs> like there's not really much of a tutorial in this in this uh, game, unfortunately. But uh, now we can go ahead and do a log pile. All right, storage, right, storage. We're going to need to store our logs, so our logs will need somewhere to go. So we're going to go ahead and put a nice log storage there and then build some paths to go along with it. There we go. And now our beavers, whenever they get their logs, they'll go ahead and put it in there. But I think housing needs to get done. As you can see, we have a three of three. So I guess you only get three beavers in the lodges. We might need to build more houses here. But I don't want my beavers to be homeless anymore because we need their well-being to be to be good you can see this beaver over here is actually doing his gathering job which i really like this one looks like a child yeah age two how cute <laughs> oh you can actually see if you click on the child you can see when they are going to become an adult so that's really good to see nice all right so with that being said let's go ahead and uh jump into some more housing yeah i think more housing is probably the best way to go so we'll go four houses possibly so four houses would make 12 beavers happy right and that's that's enough because we only have 11 beavers so if we have 12 beavers all not homeless that's good for everybody that's good for everybody all right looks like our log thing over here is is done we're going to need to build a warehouse for our berries and well not just for our berries but for like everything i think um so we're going to go ahead and build a nice warehouse right here kind of a little bit on main street i guess you could say now this district is probably going to become a like a farming district because it is in the green plains here so that that's the idea so we have a small warehouse going and then we just need a nice water tank and what what does a water tank do you you, you probably guess right it stores water <laughs> so we're gonna have the water tanks up and running here make sure that's a thing there we go awesome very good cool now, what would I prioritize right now? Really doesn't matter. I kind of just want the builders to go and do their thing. So we have no one employed. So we, we, what we need to do is just kind of lay, lay back a little bit, let them do what they're going to do. Um, everybody is employed. Everybody has a job and so forth. So with science, science is a very, um, is something that you kind of want to do early on as well too. So the next priority after we're done with the uh, tutorial or like the first main priority after the tutorial is done and over with um, is, is going to be science. Uh, and science is the inventor room. We don't we, we don't want to put it down now because we just don't have any beavers that will that will do it. We just no one's unemployed and everybody has a job that's actually um, <laughs> that's that's worthwhile right now. Right now we could take another builder away, but um, we're building stuff right now. So it, it is what it is. So with the science well, with the inventor room, it builds science over time. And so to use the science, you just need to go into every tab and see what you want. So for us, we are deforesting this forest over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to build the forest, right? We're going to need more forest. Um, and to, in order to be able to, to plant trees and stuff. So if you go over here to the plant trees and bushes, you can see like there's blueberries, there's birches, there's pines, and there's maple. Um, it says 
you need to unlock Forester to plant birch, right? So we're going to need to unlock the Forester. However, the Forester is going to take a couple of things. It's going to take logs and it's going to take wooden planks. Yeah. And of course, 60 science. So with wooden planks, you're asking, well, where, do, where does wooden planks come from? That comes from the lumber mill. This is what this is. However, as you can see, lumber mill takes 50 horsepower, I guess 50 electricity, you could say. Where do you get electricity? You get it from, well, you get it from multiple things. Uh, we could we could do a power wheel, really, to get the lumber mill up and running, which is probably not a bad idea. Or we could do a water wheel, which gives us a lot of um, horsepower. Now, I, I when I went through my first playthrough, I did, uh, it, it was very brief. I did a water wheel, and that took forever. Um, it takes 50 logs. That's a lot of logs. Now, if I do a power wheel, it's going to take 10 less. Um, but it could be a dedicated one, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe water wheel is the way to go. I mean, if 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 the power wheel was half the price for a water wheel, then I would think otherwise. But it's not. So maybe I don't worry about that. And I'll get into more power and electricity later on as we as we go forward here. But right now, we're kind of just uh, letting the beavers, like I said, letting them do what they need to do, uh, be beavers. Once we get more children that are, are, are adults, we will figure out what to do then next. Um, and, and thinking about it, I did say I want electricity. Okay, we do have someone unemployed now. So that means we have a, uh, we have, we have a, uh, yeah, we have a, we have a child that became an adult. Now I did say I want a tech room in first, but now I'm thinking about it. It's probably not a good idea. A lumber mill is probably the way to go. So we're going to need to buy a lumber mill. Yes, yes, yes. So now with the lumber mill, we're going to want power to it. And when we have power to it, we're going to want it to at least be somewhat close to the water because we're going to be doing a water wheel um, after all. So we're going to place it right there and uh, we're actually going to give it a high priority and then give this a moderate priority, even though they're the only two water storage is probably something to, th to think about here soon as well. But, um, you know, you can only do so much at so time. So we're going to do the, the, the mill there and then power. Uh, that's going to be right here in the water wheel. Yes, yes, yes. And let's go ahead and place the water wheel right here. It is a little bit jam packed in this area, but uh, you know, that's 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 to be expected for now. And then with the water wheel, we need to go straight power. We gotta go power, 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 power up until we get to our mill because it needs 50 power. Now you can see you can't like get rid of these things. So you, what you need to do is you need to go demolish this and demolish some resource. Make sure a couple of these are marked and then we'll go ahead and take care of that in that sense. All right, so let's go ahead and continue here um, and, and get things rolling. Now, I do want to, well, possibly, maybe I don't need to. I was going to say, I do want to make a path there. No, you don't really need to make a path there. It's okay. It's all good. Um, but let's go ahead and finish that up here. So we'll go, what is it, a corner piece? Event? Well, first of all, let's go straight, 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 and then a corner piece. That way. Okay. So that is a big deal, right? That is a huge deal. Once we get that up and running, um, then we could think about adding a tech room. Yeah, a tech room. And then once we get the tech room, then we will be able to afford a forester, which is uh, the ultimate goal here, because we need to be able to have the ability to plant trees. Um, it's just going to become that time where we need trees. It is because uh, there's not much trees. I mean, there's trees over here, right? There's a few trees over here. There's a few trees over here. And then all this stuff over here is so far away. I think you need to build another district. And that's one thing I'm not really familiar with. I don't know how building other districts and, and, and having all that. I guess that's what's maybe migrate population. You migrate your beavers over to another location. Um, that's probably what you need to do, right? But I'm going to try to not do that right away. <laughs> I'm going to try not to do that right away. Um, so yeah, I know our, our goals here are build a small warehouse and all that. I'm kind of going, I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead at this point. So let's go ahead and actually tone down these. I'm jumping ahead of the of the tutorial, I will admit. Um, and then like have this set at a high priority and then we'll get going on there. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward time. Everybody's in their houses, in their bungalows, having a good old time. We are running lower and lower on food every single day. So that's, you know, it is what it is. We're going to need to find a solution for that very, very soon as well. Now we could, I think we could plant crops right now and we can actually, and we're going to go like this. We're going to go a few. We, okay. We're going to go a four, a four by four of carrots and carrots will take four days to grow. We'll do a four by four of carrots and then we'll do a four by four 
of potatoes and then a four by four of wheat. Now that might be excessive. I don't know. I haven't really tested out the, 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 the farming in this game quite yet, but yeah. Also, what is going to happen is that we're going to need somebody to, to go ahead and tend the farm. Yeah, we're going to need a farmhouse. And the farmhouse is going to be the guy who plants the, um, you know, plants the, the, the crops, plants, harvests, and all that. And we want that kind of near our, our warehouse so it's not too much of a big travel for the man. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, ooh, I don't know, put this. Um, yeah, I guess we could put it right here. We'll put it right here. And then what I'll do, because look, one of our children have became an adult, so now they're unemployed. So now we need somewhere to put that adult. And this adult's probably going to be our farmer, uh, granite. So we're going to go like that. And actually, I'm going to come back onto the crops, and I'm going to expand this wheat a little bit more here. And there we go. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to need to prioritize this pretty well, too. So there's a few things that we need to prioritize, and they are going to take a lot of wood. Uh, so that, that is what it is. But we need to get food desperately because if our resources run out of food, our beavers will become hungry. And you know what happens when you're hungry? You get hangry and you need to satisfy it with the Snickers. I don't think beavers understand the concept of that and that model. And I don't think beavers understand the concept of Snickers. But, you know... We'll pretend like they do, in a way. Kind of. Not really. Probably not. But yeah, this is what we're going to be doing now. So, this is a high priority. This needs 25 logs. As you can see, like half of our forest is already gone. Yeah, we go through trees pretty fast. So, getting both of these up and running quickly is something that is going to uh, be interesting. Um, it's like, what do you what, what what do you get? Do you get all the wood or do you get the farming going on? You know, it's like, what do you prioritize more? Do you want to migrate, you know, over here and have other, like another colony do do its thing or half the colony, I should say, do its thing over here? You know, I don't know. I mean, you could take like two builders from here, transfer them over here and maybe take a lumberjack guy over here. We do have now two unemployed uh, beavers, which is very, very interesting now. Um, cause now what do you do with the last beaver? Now, one of the beaver is going to, one of the beavers is going to be going into our farmhouse, but then what do you do with the last beaver, right? Well, you can make him a gatherer and you can go ahead and gather a little bit more at a time every single day, which might help us balance ourselves out for now. Um, uh, as far as like consumption and, and, and regeneration of, of our food here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to give that beaver a job and that beaver is going to become yeah, go ahead and prioritize that. Thank you so much. Um, that beaver is going to become employed. And we got to, you know, we just got to make sure we keep our eye on the food here, right? Like, this is all important at all. Reforestation is important. But let's be honest. We can go ahead and migrate anywhere uh, to, to get wood. Food is a little bit hard to come by because, uh, look, look at all the dry land, right? I don't need to explain this one to you. All the dry land is just is, is crazy, right? Very, very crazy. Now, if you do decide to play this game and you do decide to pick this game up and you do decide to play as the recommended Plains Field map, you will get the same exact map as me. So there's not it's not randomly generated or anything. It is what it is. So here we go. The beaver should now survive for a while. You can start thinking about building farms, producing power and generating science points. Good luck. Close tutorial. So, yeah, that's the rest of the tutorial. That's all you get for the tutorial. So you kind of just like have a good day, right? And that scares the crap out of me in most city building games, especially when I'm not really good at them and I'm trying to learn them um, and try to be better at them really is, is what it is. So we still have one beaver that's unemployed, but the beaver, he's going to be employed here. And that, that's what we want. We want this. We want this beaver to go here. That's where we want him to go. So let's go ahead and fast forward the time. Hopefully they build this up. Um, they did get this water storage in, thankfully. So now we can go ahead and start storing water. I'm not too worried about this stuff. I am more worried about the, the farming here. This needs to get going on pretty fast. Our food is going up now that we've hired a second harvester, which is good. Or gatherer, sorry. But yeah, this should be going to go ahead and, and start doing something eventually. That beaver needs water. Look, my man, beaver, you got water over here. Go take a drink. There you go. Good job. All right. All right. So we'll go ahead and fast forward the day. They, they will have a good night and all that. Uh, something that we can add to our you know place is a rooftop terrace, is a uh, campfire, right? If you add a campfire, they'll be able to you know sit around and have some s'mores and stuff like that, which would be kind of cute. Uh, as you can see, our berries are depleting fast. So, uh, yeah, we need to get this farm up and running. There we go. Farm is up and running. Now we do have, um, unemployment at zero. Isn't that incredible? 
We have no children now. Every beaver that we have is now considered employed. Incredible stuff. Uh, now we need higher priority on storing water. This means that the water is full. The building is full. So we need to get that going on here also. Uh, we also need to get the high priority obviously here as well. Uh, at the, um, well, not even there. Like we don't need the, the mill. We need the, um, we need this to be high priority, the, the power source. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now I'm not really sure. Cause again, I, I don't know. Um, Let's go ahead and fix these priorities real quick. I don't know. The game doesn't really tell you how population grows. Like, I don't know if you can recruit other beavers. I don't know if it's all based off of um, simple uh, birds and bees talk. It might be. It might be all simply just, you know, glass of wine at night turns the tides. I have no idea. But <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Like, um mating I, I i guess they mate and that produces the children but i don't know what puts them in the mood to do that i mean i could take a guess but it might not be appropriate but at the same time like how do you know and how do you know they're going to do it or if they're going to do it is it more random i think that's what it is so let's go into fast forward time just a little bit more here we are running out of trees good god almighty so next thing uh, on the top of our list get the mill up and running get the power up and running uh get the tech room the science room up and running give them some nice leisure probably eventually uh you know still working on the neighborhood of all things people are still running out of water i mean come on get, get your water drink your water it's okay we all have water we have plenty of plenty of water we have plenty of plenty of food so far um but we are running out of resources for our food look we only have like two berries left yeah and if we have two berries left uh these beavers are going to need like something to do <laughs> like something to do fast so now they're gonna go in there and i i guess i don't know i'm gonna keep my eye on them and see what they're gonna be doing here but um yeah okay so there you go um they can't do this anymore they're like hey um you know sorry <laughs> there's no there's nothing else we can do there, we, we can't we can't do anything else uh, else about this so this is where like the migration type or thing comes in which is all new to me and i i, I honestly don't know how it all works very well yet but over time i think it won't be too bad um because i feel like if i were to have berries over here with another district that i guess like hauling it over here would take so long no it would it would it would feel like it would take a long time right so i guess one thing that we can do for now is kind of get rid of the gather post we can make these beavers go unemployed right we can make them go unemployed and kind of tell them to jump on some um, some logs, right? Be like, hey, we need some help in the uh, in the wood department. We need buildings to be erected fast, and we need tech, right? One of those beavers might be going on tech as well once we get that up and running. Uh, but right now, we need wood. We need wood, and we need construction. Uh, luckily, we have four builders right now. There is a builder idle, so we can even pick and pull from there as well. Pick and pull a a a body to use there. There might be just too many people like not working there. Um, there might be not enough projects to do. I beg to differ. I said there's a lot. There's a lot. Now we could probably take a builder away from that and make a cutter out of it. So we'll take one builder, make him unemployed, and say, you know what? I need you to become a treer. And we'll get that going on. So there we go. Everybody's going to bed. Um, I'm going to keep my eye on the children and the population here. Maybe they'll mate. Maybe they'll make babies. You know, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how that all works out. But this is all good. This is all good. Priority wise, this is our big priority. Priority is getting power. It should be done here now. There it is. It is done. It is up and running. We have power now. That is good. Um, now with that being said, how is our food game? We have three. So 50% on the carrots, 30% on that and 19% on that. One thing that's going to have to come once we get this food up and running is that we're going to need a grill. We're going to need to have something to where uh, we can cook the food. Um, yeah, so this is very, very important for us. So we, we need to build a grill. So we're going to build a grill right there. And this should be a higher priority, not the highest priority, but a higher priority. Um, maybe building or maybe taking away a builder wasn't, wasn't a good idea, but, uh, you know, it is what it is for now. 
anyways it's going fast forward time just more bit we are running out of trees we are running out of logs we need the forester right we need the forester we're going to probably be forced into migration soon and um that scares the crap out of me it scares the living crap out of me like i don't know what to expect right so in turn we should go ahead and start thinking about building an inventor right and that's not going to take a lot of wood luckily uh the inventor is going to take only 12 wood which isn't a lot and we can put that next to the district honestly um, and leave that there but the priority on that we will leave that kind of lower um same with this this is a, this 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 is not as big as a priority but it's going to be having to be done here in a sec it's 13 out of 15 logs so it's going to be done here in a sec now another thing that this game has is what is it hauling posts Haulers assist workers within a district carrying goods, greatly increases the productivity, and workers' bonus is 100% uh, strength. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Uh, but we have nobody working on the mill because guess what? You guessed it. We need power, right? And we don't have any employees at the moment. But that, that's, that's a side thing. So we do have the grill up and running. So that's really, really good. I'm glad that we got that. I'm really good. I'm glad. Uh, so we can go ahead and grill stuff, but we don't have stuff yet. We're still growing stuff. So almost maybe in a day or two, we'll get that in. And then, you know, that will kind of counterpart with our food here very soon. So that's that's good stuff to see. Uh, yeah, so so far, so good. Now we can go ahead and focus a little bit more on the tech tree. Now with the tech tree or the tech, you know, the tech house, I don't need to explain to you. It's going to give us the ability to do what we need as far as building a forester. Now, quick look at the food. Yeah, it's dropped drastically, right? Uh, we are we are needing food, and we need it now. JG Wentworth kind of food. Uh, so that that's good. One thing now I'll do is I'll start backing off. I'll back off on the uh, wood production. Yeah, I'll back off on the wood production. Therefore, we need a worker to go into there. I don't know. Do we have a worker in the grill? No. We will, though. We will have a worker go into the grill once we have that uh, taken care of. Let's go ahead and fast forward time here. Uh, maybe we'll get a population increase here. Nope, doesn't seem like we got a population increase. Do we have anybody in the grill? Uh, no, we did not get anybody in the grill or the inventor. So we now have two places of potential that need people. Uh, this guy is standing around, so we're going to take him out, and he's going to be unassigned. Um, and then we are going to have him go somewhere. He will go anywhere. He will go to the grill. Fantastic. Great job. We needed him to go to the grill. And then we'll take actually another of these guys. We'll take another uh, tree cutter. And he will probably go to the inventor room. Yeah, he'll go directly to the inventor room. Very good. Very balanced. That's what I wanted. Um, so there we go. And in time now, in the inventor room, as you can see, the thing's turning that he's in there working. Uh, we will get uh, three science uh, at a time. So that's good. Now you can see this is, is going on, right? We have the mill up and running, which means we can now start to make planks, uh, which is good because if we need planks, we need planks for the forester. But also, we need to have 60 science in order to unlock the forester, right? So yeah, we're kind of like, we're doing what we can. We're doing the best that we can here. As you can see, our logs are completely gone for the most part there are some saplings that are that are down that are growing which is good our food at the moment is not so good <laughs> not so good now i wonder if you can do anything on the production here of of, of planks like can you be like i want x amount of planks i don't know i don't know but take a look here at, at our food now our food's starting to starting to ripen up here we're, we're getting to get, get carrots here very soon this guy is hanging out. He's like, I got nothing to do. Believe me, my man, you're gonna be you're gonna be doing something here in, in like two seconds. They're gonna be putting that in there. You're gonna be going in there and grabbing that and grilling it, right? That's the idea. Um, so now we have carrots in our food storage here, which is good, and we have berries. So we have carrots and berries in there. Awesome stuff to see. Our food should be going up now, uh, which you know can be worrisome at, at first, but uh, it's all good now. Again, we don't have any more children our population has not grown at all so yeah what is unable here what do we got going on here so potatoes and grilled potatoes so this only grills the grill only grills potatoes i didn't realize that until now so the grill only grills potatoes luckily we have potatoes growing or grilling or yeah growing and the potatoes will come here in about 70 percent uh, give or take uh, but at least we have carrots for now um wheat i don't know i don't know what the wheat would do but hey take a look at this your beavers are happier than ever uh, you have re received a well-being score of five. So this is the well-being score. The well-being score is the thing that came with the Iron Teeth uh, faction. To unlock that faction, you're going to need eight. We only got five. Uh, so eventually we'll get five probably, right? Okay. Food. Again, food is a, is a is a tricky one right now, and that's that's kind of what we're in the middle of. 
So let's go ahead and have them go to sleep. Maybe they'll mate. I have no idea, but if they do, we got more mouths to feed. It is what it is. But I want to focus more in on this. Carrots, potatoes. This stuff is going to be very important to us right now. Uh, three days on this. Probably could have been better off with a bigger field. I think a bigger field of carrots and potatoes probably would have helped us immensely. Uh, hell, you can even go bigger right now. You can go, you know what? Yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's add more potatoes, right? Let's add a bunch of potatoes. Put it on Main Street here. Add some more carrots on this side, you know? Let's get it going, right? Let's stop, you know, stop messing around. Okay, that, that that's a little bit in the way. <laughs> let's get that out of the way, please. Thank you so much. All right. So there, we'll get the carrots up and running. They got the potatoes over here rolling. Uh, big farms and stuff like that. Uh, we're, we're, we're really, like, on the edge here until these potatoes can come through here in about uh, 15, 15%. Uh, 15 <laughs> However much time that takes. Our, car our carrots are coming up clutch right now. They are holding us off at the moment. Don't worry about Bella. She's going to bark. She's a dog. That's what she does. All right. In the meantime, um, we are doing... I think we're doing pretty okay. Yeah. She thinks her mom's home, but it's, it's a lie. Her mom's not home. Her mom is not home. Let's go ahead and, like, minimize these. One thing I really like about this game is the fact that you can minimize uh, these. So, yeah, there you go. I apologize. Bella is a freaking nut. Yeah, so there we go. Looking pretty good. This is going way better than the first time I played this game. I, I, will, be, I will say. Obviously, right? Because I know a little bit uh, of what to do now. But anything forward from now, I have no idea. And we already have 30 science, which we should be 30 science away, right? 30 science away from our forester. And that should, you know, we have like nothing, like we can't do anything as far as like logs go. So migrating over here um, is probably something we need to do. Now this, I don't understand this part of it. Like district gate separates districts. I wish there was more to tell, but I don't know what that means. I, I really don't. I really, really don't. Now, you can go ahead and get a district, right? Establishes a district with its own population, resources, and an isolated path, network, employees, and builders. Now, this, okay, populates its own. Like, I don't understand that. Populate its own beavers? I don't understand. We'll see. I'm going to place it down and see what happens. You know? Who knows? <laughs> so, here's the district. If you, if you take a look, this is the district. I guess we can migrate. Um, from Beaver Butthead home, and we can go. Just give me two adults. Migrate two adults. Can we do that? Did I do it? They might have to be unemployed adults. Which makes sense. Which, in turn, we can do this very, very simply and easily. We can go, hey, you guys did a great job here at cutting down wood, but we need you to go for now, at least two of you, and we need uh, the other two. You know, the, or the two unemployed, we need them to migrate over onto this section, and we need two, two, please, two adults. No? Wait, unless we have to click this for migration. Migrate. Two adults. Two adults. Two adults. Two adults. Please, two adults. My lord. Two adults. Migrate two adults. So there we go. That actually works out perfectly. Um, that's that's what I wanted the game to do. I'm glad the game did that, and that 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 really works. So the um, the two unemployed beavers are now going to be coming over here and migrating over here, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and press play there. So now that we kind of understand how that works, uh, we have builders here. Um, do we need builders? Do we have builders? I mean, what the heck does the builders, or what, what are they going to do, right? What are the builders going to do, right? They're not going to do anything. We're going to need one of them to be unemployed, first things first. So with the beaver being unemployed, we need him to go ahead and cut trees, I guess, right? Well, we're, we're, we're going to need him to do this. We're going to need him to get a lumberjack going on here and have that like in this area right there. And then build a path, of course, to here, to there. All right, so that will be his. And then he will have the ability to cut any of these trees that he sees up here. Right. Now, I wonder how this all works out. Now, d does it all, in return, help the colony and all, you know, all together? I, 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 I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know how this works. So this beaver is over here doing nothing, which, again, not a good idea not a good thing what we could do is we can go ahead and say hey we want you to be a gatherer my man 
We want you to gather. Why don't you come over here and gather? So we'll go there. We'll go pathing. Boom, and then boom, and then bam. And then say, hey, you know what? All of those should be yours. And he should, he should, whoops. He should jump on that. Oh, we need one person at all times? Really? One person running the district at all times? Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Very interesting. Transport goods between warehouse when idled. Yeah, I didn't think that he would, uh, he would have had, uh, you know, do that. But I guess we could take somebody over here in this colony. Yeah, who would we take? I guess we could take a water pump, maybe? No, the lumber mill guy. We'll take the lumber mill guy because he doesn't really need to... He doesn't really need to be there right now, right? Can we take him away from his job? Hmm. My man, I don't need you there. Doesn't seem like you can fire them. Well, that's good in their heads. <laughs> in their heads, that's, that's fantastic, right? In our heads, it's like, damn it. What the heck, right? I know. Um, interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So you can see our, our, our beavers right now are starting to become hungry, uh, which is bad. Very bad. And um, as you can see here, you know what? Looking at it, the jobs are all together here. And the population's all together. Except for this, right? Yeah, except for this. So I guess in a colony, we're together. But in a district, we're not together. Now, with the grill, we should be having food be coming out, right? Food should be senting out or be sent out. No? Because we have potatoes? Like, potatoes are here, right? They're ready to be harvested. Somebody needs to harvest them. We have a farmer, right? Farmhouse, two. Two people in the farmhouse? My lord. Yeah, see, we should have, uh, should have our people delivering them and then our cook being able to cook them, right? Oh my lord. This is it. Watch this. Harvest, harvest. Our food going up. Yeah, our food going up. We might be just me we might just be consuming way too much food. Now, if you take a look over here, these guys are like all, you know, <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad for them. What I can do is take one farmer out from there and say, "You know what? Let's migrate one more beaver over to the other side, please." And hopefully that was the unemployed that did that, right? Yeah, the unemployed. So now this beaver will come over here, start helping out, and uh, he will jump on the harvesting over here, which is good. So we'll do that. Great. He'll put that in there. That puts up our food stock, which helps us out. Very good. Very good. Now, when it comes to, because there was something I saw, which was, uh, where is it? Hauling posts. So hauling posts, I'm not really sure. Haulers assist workers within a district in carrying goods, greatly increase their productivity. I guess it's within a district, right? Within a district. So everything I guess is going on over here. I'm assuming, and the way I'm going to be playing it for right now, at least, is, uh, oh God, they don't have water over here. See, this is a, this another thing. They need water. They need freaking water. So let's give them water. Um, water, water pump. I'm going to assume and play as if every single, um, Oh, this is kind of spicy now, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want to destroy our resources, but my God. Um, okay. <laughs> um, this sucks, I guess. It... Hmm. Like, if there's a way to connect these resources where these guys could be like, oh, you know what? I will take the five-hour walk to walk over there to have a drink. That would be nice. I don't think that's the case. So I'm, I'm going to play it as the districts are their own separate cities in their, in a way, right? I guess. I don't know. You guys let me know down, down in the description or down in the comment section below. And that would, I would really appreciate that. Now, pathing for this is going to be tricky because look, all of our resources are here. So, I mean, I hate to do it, but I have to do it. I got to get rid of these resources. See if they do that. Unless they're gonna absolutely do nothing because they're just so thirsty. I'm trying to get you water. Come on, let me get you water. Fix this. Oh, they're sleeping outside. Oh, they don't have houses over here. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, they're shivering too. Oh my lord. 
That's so sad. Okay. All right, so what do we have? Your beavers are happier than ever. We got six. All right, cool. Did we actually increase in population? We did increase in population. Very interesting. Very interesting. Did someone have a baby over here? Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. <gasps> oh no, did our beaver just die? Oh my God. I think we had a beaver die. Now, why aren't you like doing this? Why can't you just do this? Is it because you need to be a builder? Okay. Did two of our beavers die? Maybe we had two beavers die. Maybe that's what it was. Oh my lord. That's bad. That's very, very bad. This beaver might die too. That's not good. Um, Honestly, my man, like, screw this. Head back over. You don't need this. Oh my god. Terrible news. Just go. Don't worry about over here. This will be done in its own time. Get a drink of water, my lord. Wow. Yeah, we did. Did we? Did we not? I don't know. <laughs> we have one beaver that's unemployed. Uh, we can go ahead and add him to the farmhouse, I guess. Yeah, very interesting. But we do have 60 research, which, guess what? Means we can bring in a forester. So let's go ahead and unlock a forester. With the forester, it's going to bring us wood, which will bring us uh, more potential and all that. Now, this should take seven seven planks and seven uh, logs. We have 24 planks, but we have no freaking logs. That's our problem, I don't think. Actually, we have a ton of logs. We do. We actually have a lot of logs. Oh, this is great. Okay, good. This is this is working out then in the end. Um, yeah, we'll do that and do that. And make this a high priority, please. How many builders do we have in this town? Two builders? That's fine. That's all right. This guy's just standing by for the, for the time being. Um, which, you know what, we will bring in that, but we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of it for now. And, um, he'll be added to the worker list and we'll do that. All right. So now we have the forester up. So with the forester, let's go ahead and, um, wait, do we have to have someone employed at the lumberjack? No, not the lumberjack flag. The, um, this is, this is just a freaking mess, dude. I tell you what, get rid of this. I don't know. Migration is very, very difficult to, to think about right now, I guess. Maybe we're not ready there. Maybe we're not ready for migration yet. Could be. Very, very much could be. We might not be ready. Um, okay. So with that being said, let's see if the forester... Okay, the forester does and needs someone employed. Luckily, it has someone employed. Planting trees now. Birch, pine, maple. So resources. It takes 24 days to grow, but it gives you eight logs. One log. Oy playing hardball here it takes nine days to grow uh 12 days to grow i mean i guess for right now we just need some resources immediately bring me some birch and then what we'll do is we'll make the maples down here maybe put like the maples right here and then some pine down the line here I know this is going to look ugly, trust me. It's going to look terrible. And we'll do that, and then we'll do like that, and then hope for the best, right? It's going to take a while before we get those logs back up in play, but that's okay because we have time when it comes to wood. Um, getting our sustainability here with food, that's our like big thing we need to worry about more here. So let's go ahead and actually, uh, uh, sorry. Let's go ahead and make some more carrots. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this? Forecast. Drought incoming. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do we have enough water? <laughs> Let's make sure that we get enough water. Oh, damn it. Um, I, th I feel like water would be a huge thing. Let's do that. And then, of course, um, looks like our berries are coming through here very well. Very, very well. Um, if we demolish that, I wonder what would happen. I mean, the water would go in there, right? Is that a good thing? I guess that is a good thing. If we take that and we could use this as like a power source or something, maybe in the future. I don't know. We'll go food. Um, I would like to do actually no uh, plant crops. We need carrots. Bring in more carrots. Um, bring in more potatoes. Like honestly, bring in more potatoes. I don't know where the wheat is going to be doing or for us um, for right now, I guess. I don't know. What in the food department do we have? I guess uh, 
a grist mill that will grind f wheat into flour and then a bakery that will make that. So wheat is probably nothing to have very much very soon. It's more of the potatoes, potatoes and carrots very soon. Okay, I understand. All right, um, carrots and potatoes. Okay, but this video is actually getting a little bit out of hand. Um, I've been having a blast playing it. Uh, so yeah, if you can't tell, I'm having so much fun playing it. Um, the carrots, they grow so fast. We'll do that. Okay, but uh, yeah, anyways, this is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure you hit that like. If you hit that like, it tells me that you want to see more of Timberborn. And uh, yeah, we can continue with our colony here. But other than that, thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. I hope you're a